I've got a good feeling about this. You've never heard of the Millennium Falcon? The Empire Strikes Back is the most successful film of 1980. It's often referred to as the best Star Wars movie and just one of the greatest films of all time. I agree. It's also the only one of the original trilogy where a life-size version of the Millennium Falcon was built. It was 16 feet high, 80 feet long, and weighed 23 tons. Well, ours isn't going to be that big, kid. But let's pay tribute to one of the most famous spaceships of all time. Let's recreate the scene with our heroes losing the Empire through the asteroid field. We'll be gluing all of our pieces to this 11 by 14 inch canvas I painted. Use some layers of black foam core on the ships and asteroids to give it a cool 3D effect. I'm using two layers for the Falcon, one on the larger TIE fighters, and the little guys will go right on the canvas. This really makes it look like this thing will be flying off the wall, cool depth effect. When it comes to painting stars, you don't want to spread them out perfectly even as much as they're in like little clusters. Stars aren't uniform, so make sure they're different sized dots, just scattered about randomly. Don't forget to do the sides. Yeah, they're not that visible, but you don't want to get this far and then get lazy. She may not look like much, but she's got it where it counts, kid. Join me tomorrow as we conclude 80's week by asking one question. Who are you going to call? Make your own Millennium Falcon by clicking the piece right there for all the guide photos. Or give some of my other projects a try. See you next time. I prefer a good project all the sneaking around.